Taran tan tan taran tan tan tan. Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about mixtures. In order to understand what are mixtures, first we need to know about pure substances. They consist on just one type of matter. For example, oxygen, silver, gold, or salt. So, mixtures are made of two or more pure substances. For example, these cookies, they have chocolate, they have flour, eggs, and a lot of ingredients to make the cookie. We can differentiate two types of mixtures. So we have heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures. The first type, heterogeneous, you can see and separate the different elements. For example, in this fruit salad, we can see all the different fruits and we can separate them. Or in these jellies, these sweets, we can see that there are jellies of different colors. On the other hand, with the homogeneous mixtures, you cannot see the different elements. And usually, it is impossible to separate them. For example, this vegetable mash, you can tell that there are different vegetables, but you cannot differentiate which vegetables are inside. Or in this sponge cake, we know that there are different ingredients, but we cannot see them or separate them. So, is it possible to separate the mixtures? Of course it is. We are going to have a look at these methods of separating mixtures. First of all, we have evaporation. We use this to separate solids dissolved in liquids, for example, water and salt. In this image, in this picture, you can see that they are using marine water and with the evaporation they are getting the salt out of the water. Another method of separating mixtures is filtration. We use filtration to separate solids from liquid or gases, usually liquids. For example, pasta and water. Imagine that you have cooked the pasta and then you put the pasta with the water through this and you will get just the pasta and the water will filtrate through the holes. And the last two ways of separating mixtures are distillation and decantation. First, distillation, we use it to separate two or more liquids that they have different boiling point. For example, water and alcohol. We will put both water and alcohol here and we will start heating the mixture. The alcohol will start evaporating at around 78 degrees Celsius. And we know that water evaporates at 100 degrees Celsius. So when we get to 78 or 80 degrees, the alcohol will start evaporating and it will get to this second tube, which is cooler 
and with the condensation it will arrive to this other tube and we will have water here and alcohol on the other tube and the last is decantation we use this to separate liquid with different densities for example oil and water you know that if you put oil and water in a glass the water will go to the bottom of the glass and the oil will stay on the top so if we use a lab tube like this one the water will be on this part and the oil will be on the top we just need to open here the water will go out of the tube and we will get the oil on the tube so in summary we know that we have two types of mixtures homogeneous and heterogeneous in the homogeneous we cannot see the elements and in the heterogeneous we can see the elements and now we can separate mixtures and we have four methods we have evaporation to separate solids dissolved in liquid like water and salt we can evaporate the water and get the salt filtration to separate solids from liquid or gases distillation to separate two liquids with different boiling points like water and alcohol and decantation to separate two liquids with different densities like water and oil that was all for this video i hope you like it and see you in the next one bye all